All right, quick explanation is next time you drive by a bunch of little people beating up on a cat, it's probably not the best thing to jump out and go, hey, knock it off, you damn midgets. Anyways, I'm sure there's a lot of the youth that are going to be watching this webcast, and all i got to say is it's really hard, but you're going to have to try to sift through all the crap that they want to shove down your throat. And I'm telling you, man, search the truth, because if you don't, everything is just a depiction of fear. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs>
bunch of closet homos anyways <laughs> all right there you go welcome to the interview portion of said flash rock live uh you might recognize some of these guys even though i didn't but i've got an excuse <laughs> say hello to the brand new totally fucking rocking depictions of fear what's up uh, guys dude I made you singular in the introduction. Sorry about that. It worked out. It's okay. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. It's just an S. <laughs> All right. Well, reintroduce yourselves or introduce yourself to the Flash Rap viewers for the very first time. Well, I'm Terrence. I play the bass. I'm Casey, and I am the vocalist. I'm Chubbs. I'm the drummer. I'm Paul, and I'm the lead guitarist. I'm Victor, and I play a shark. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Victor. You might recognize me on television sometimes where I play a shark. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So you're the new guy, right? Yeah, he used to be Alf. Alf? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. no, no. You mean that fuzzy little puppet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we picked him up after that. Wow, that must have been an uncomfortable gig, man. That was some guy's <laughs> shoved up your ass fucking... <laughs> you know, he's actually more used to it than you would think. Yeah. <laughs> Again, as we were saying before this even started, it wasn't me. <laughs> anyway. Oh. All right, well, all right, so... New band, how long has this lineup been together? Since probably January, oh, January February ish. Yeah. Like yeah so year, you guys so are just starting out. Fresh on yeah. that 2011. All right, well, then how about websites? You guys uh, got that going yet? We got the normal. We got MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, Twitter, YouTube, Game Maven. 
gig maven if you want to get crazy. Um, Just Google it. Shows. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Google it. Uh, how about how about yeah, any Google recordings? It. Have you guys got any recordings going on yet? Uh, well, uh, let's see. We got just the live videos, and we are currently in our home studio back in Hemet doing yeah. our uh, first EP, and we're almost yeah, done. We're almost done. So we're yeah. actually really stoked on it. It's all self done, so we're really attached to it. Okay, right? so you guys are from Hemet? Yes. Yeah, God. Okay, so look yeah. for that in about oh, two years. <laughs> Seriously, man. By the time that pigeon carries that demo to the fucking big city. No, I was just talking about your incredibly great agriculture up there, but anyways, I digress. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, all right. So, been together for about six months or so now, working on on the disc, playing out a lot. Yeah, yeah actually, yeah. we're playing out of town a lot. We love it. Uh, we played over by Universal Studios over at the UBG not too long ago. Uh, we've got what well, we're really excited for: July seventeenth, Pomona Tattoo Expo. We're fucking stoked, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. stoked on that. It took us. Uh, they uh, they had to judge us through like a, a bunch of bands that got um, inputted for it, and uh, we made it through. So we're really Very stoked. Cool. So if this is like, you know, January like 31st, 2012, you missed it. You probably missed Dick Politic there too. I mean, since we're pumping dates, might as well say, yeah, you might actually see the dick there. <laughs> hey, we, we might actually have a gig together, you guys. Hey, nice. nice. <laughs> we'll open. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't really want to be that dog act following the Beatles. <laughs> and if you didn't get that, then you probably won't understand what an e-ticket fuck is either, but, uh, you know. Look it up. Anybody over twenty or yeah, anybody over thirty-five would probably get it. <laughs> so what else is new with you guys? Well, what is going on in the world? I mean, your scene. How's your scene going? Are you guys helping cultivate oh, it's a scene? Gotten better. Actually, yeah, that's probably the what's the hottest news for us is uh, yeah. in town shows used to be dead, nothing, no one would come out, and uh, thanks to a, a local record label called Candelabra Records. Yeah. Candelabra Records. Uh, that's the that's the big name in town, dude. We've got like ten plus metal bands just tearing it up at local venues, and it's great, dude. Nice. So what you're yeah. saying is someday him it might be known for more than marijuana, kind of like Seattle. Uh, yeah. Either yeah. either yeah. that, <laughs> either that, or maybe a couple bands will get out of bumfuck him. Who knows? Yeah. We'll see. Either uh, one. I, I either think one. It would be a good place for a new scene to, to rise. You know, it's been quite some time yeah. since there's been anywhere in this check country. Out Hemet. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody loves people from him anyways. Look at us, man. Come on, five. Yeah, I don't know if it's really you guys or just what you guys can bring down. I mean, let's be yeah, they should have got uh, better poster people for him. And I mean, you know, just us. What are you talking about, man? I'm probably one of the, the best examples of a poster child for L.A. <laughs> well, L.A. Unfortunately. They need a, you need a poster family to really get all of L.A., you know. What, a big old billboard of dysfunctional people? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Gary Pizzi right in front. <laughs> He's the Did you say Gary Busey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, it might take some of you 48 hours to get that one, but whatever. Winning. <laughs> oh, that's my best friend. All right. Well, <laughs> what would you guys like to get out there? Any message to your fans? Uh, any any promotions? Well, you've already pumped your record label. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely want to do that. Shout out to <laughs> Oh yeah, um, our uh, our homies Aura and Vanity they were here not too long ago. Uh, they they're, rocked, man. They're, they're, on, yeah, they're, they're on our record label Candelabra. Um, Keep watching that. But I don't know. Let's start down the line, Victor. What would you like to tell the beautiful people what you are thankful for? I would like to tell all you beautiful people to listen to depictions of fear <laughs> <laughs> now. <laughs> so stop watching this video. video. Depictions of fear. Watch us play. Watch me play a shark on TV. I love it. <laughs> guarantee it. Oh, yeah. Guarantee it. That's not a very long guarantee, though. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, man. It's not a lifetime guarantee. I was very, very, very impressed to see that the name on your headstock said Jackson. <laughs> what, don't you give a shit about the instrument you play? <laughs> he's like, does that say Jackson? <laughs> no, he's all just Jackson. Okay, what which one of you guys yeah, loaned him the guitar? <laughs> you found it on the fucking alley out there. Yeah. Yeah. What? God damn it! Beach. Right next to him, he was just taking a nap. Beatles, I don't even know who they are. <laughs> yeah, really, really, really. Who is the guy on your shirt? This guy, Richie Valens. Great guy, <laughs> great guy. <laughs> Nothing to do with New York. Oh my god, no wonder the world's going to hell in a fucking condom. And what about you, <laughs> I'm leading it. <laughs> what about you, Polly? What are you fucking thankful for, man? Uh, thankful for Charlene Arthur. For all yeah, that's that. his yeah. mom. She's awesome. Yeah. Charlene. Charlene. Uh, thankful for <laughs> Candelabra Records. Thank you for all the help that you've given us. Dead Sea Records definitely has been a lot of help out there. Totally. Uh, and I definitely need to thank all of our fans out there. You motherfuckers. You're awesome. I gotta Not say, you, on you, I gotta give mad respect for Promise actually getting me. a traditional 
tattoo, and that's some fucking tribal bullshit. You don't <laughs> see very many people out there with the convictions and the strengths and the good fashion ethics and morals to put mom on. Mom the and pops, dude. Yeah, 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 pops right there. All right, see, see, <laughs> if you take this guy's <laughs> lead, there is still hope for this world. <laughs> not this guy on. Not this guy. No, not, this not, not the guy right there. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want the world to go to hell and the hand, then follow me, yes. You didn't have no. Hey man, you're gonna have to get in line behind me because I'm already leading it there. Shit, Same. man. <laughs> I don't know you you um, okay, well, I'd like to give a shout out to my parents. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here right now. Uh, of course, my bandmates. I love you guys. Uh, you all the fans, totally. Um, Candelabra Records and all our friends and all the bands we play with. Yeah, dude, I that's definitely right. gotta give it Seriously. to the bands we play with and every Seriously. single person in Hemet that's ever been to a Sharky show or a freaking Wheelhouse show, like, you guys make it, like, make it worth it. When we come to a show and there's no one there, we're still gonna play, of course, but when we see a full pit just going balls, wall to wall, man, like, we're so stoked on that. Oh, we so love I, I gotta thank the fans, I gotta thank all the other bands in our area. I even gotta thank our old, uh, our old member, you know, without him quitting, we would've never gotten to this new lineup and Seriously. we would've never gotten our new name. So, you know, things change, and even if you think it's going to hold you back, it just propels you forward, you know? So I guess I'm thankful for that event happening. <laughs> nice. You, T-Mac? Yeah, I'm thankful for my family and all our, all our friends, all my friends, because <laughs> without <laughs> our fans and friends, we wouldn't be anything. So they really would make, make us what we are. And all, all, the band, all the bands, all, all the cases, all the beers, all the beers, all, all KC... <laughs> All the bands, fucking <laughs> uh, Burning Empire, all, Orin Vanity, all of them all just the carry our shows. <laughs> they make what it is. I'd like to thank the Academy. I'd like to thank God. I'd like to th uh, all the cliches. Thank the, cli and thank the cliches. They love me. They really, really love me. Again, if you're over like 100, you'll get it. <laughs> Shit. Anyways, well, you know what? Obviously, you guys are, are young. You've got a good, uh, yeah, youthful yeah, fan base going on. <laughs> I'm digging the atmosphere and the vibe that you guys are, are exuding here tonight. You know, again, it's, it's uh, you know, most bands are like, I want to thank that asshole that we kicked out of the band. Like, you. <laughs> Without you, like, man, we'd we still have your ass. fucking <laughs> never sucked. Um, but you guys are like, I want to thank you. It's all about, it's all about positive forward progression. Yeah, dude, like, definitely. Good, good, somewhat, you know. Hey, it's up to you to decide what's right and wrong. Only you can determine what is good and what is evil. And if you really think about it, Good and evil are easily told apart from one another. It's Definitely. not that hard. All right. I want to say to you, the youth, you've had the privilege of checking these guys out on video. If you live in the Hemet area or you're going to see them coming to your town, go check them out. You're going to have a good time. And again, always consistently search for the truth because even what I'm saying is a bunch of crap spun my way to shove down your throat. The only difference <laughs> is, is I'm not charging you for it. Search the truth and you will find it. That is the only answer because once again, if you don't, your entire life is going to be nothing but depictions of fear. <laughs>
Quick explanation is next time you drive by a bunch of little people beating up on a cat, it's probably not the best thing to jump out and go, hey, knock it off, you damn midgets. Anyways, I'm sure there's a lot of the youth that are going to be watching this webcast, and all i got to say is it's really hard, but you're going to have to try to sift through all the crap that they want to shove down your throat. And I'm telling you, man, search the truth, because if you don't, everything is just a depiction of fear.